was at three, he had a shovel in his hand, not a weapon, only spoke Spanish, didn't understand the commands. The police shot him dead. The family is suing and speaking out. Today at three, Wink News. First, fair, everywhere. Wink Doppler 3X sees storms sooner when every minute matters. Wink Doppler 3X, three times more powerful. Your time to request a vote by mail is almost up. When that deadline is and the location of your new voting precinct. The former president's allies prep for political warfare ahead of the midterm elections. This has legal battles mount for Mr. Trump, including a four-hour deposition. What the former president is saying now. And a blast at a home kills multiple people and destroys an entire block. The aftermath has surrounding neighbors worried. We'll show you the fire chief's response. Now, from Southwest Florida's most trusted news, this is Wink News at Noon. Hello and thank you for joining us today on Wink News at Noon. I'm Peter Fleischer. We're joined by Wink News meteorologist Greg Rule here in the Weather Center. Greg, it's hot and hazy, potential record-breaking yep. temperatures. So how long is this going to last? Likely for the next 24 to 48 hours, Peter. All thanks to that Saharan dust that's been draped across all areas of southwest Florida over the last couple of days. And today certainly is no uh, exception. You can see live-looking shot out at uh, the Captiva Sanibel area where you can just kind of see that milky whiteness to the atmosphere atmosphere that is all that Saharan dust and also on the north side of Pine Island out at the Vokelia fishing pier good fishing out there as well also can see the haze draped across the region now the haze is going to limit our opportunities for rain this afternoon however I am starting to track one little spotty shower, Wink Doppler Live 3X radar showing a couple of light rain showers right on top of Lake Placid slowly moving to the north and west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But the lack of rain and the amount of Sahara dust, that's going to allow our temperatures to skyrocket this afternoon. Already seeing temps in the upper 80s and lower 90s. I am expecting record high heat in Fort Myers at 95 degrees today. Even hotter in our inland zones. But what can we expect for your tomorrow and your weekend weather? All those answers coming up in my full forecast. Breaking news right now into the Wink newsroom. Authorities are searching for this man, Chandre Cross, who was last seen leaving on his boat from Naples Bay Marina around 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday. Cross's car still parked at that marina, and his family says they have no idea what his plans were. According to the Coast Guard, his boat is a 33-foot Sea Ray with vitamin C on the back. Deputies say Cross is described as 5 foot 11 inches tall and around 150 pounds with a bald head and brown eyes. He was last seen wearing a purple shirt and black pants on that boat. We'll update you as we learn more information coming up in our newscast at 3. More breaking news right now at noon. A car bursting into flames going northbound on I-75 in Estero. You could still see the smoke coming off that car in this video. All of this occurring near mile, near mile marker 119. Right now, FHP is working to put out this fire, but of course, we continue to update you both on air and online as this scene continues to develop. School is supposed to be a safe place, but the Collier County Sheriff's Office says this former teacher preyed on students at Pinecrest Elementary in Immokalee. Diego Rojas Polito will be in court today, accused of hiding a camera in one of the school bathrooms. A lot of the students were scared to go back into that school after that discovery was made. The district has since fired Rojas Polito. Gallons of water cleaned up after a massive marina fire. At least eight boats caught on fire and were destroyed in that incident. This all happened last month at the Riviera Marina in Punta Gorda. The Coast Guard recovered 820 gallons of contaminated water and 590 pounds of absorbent boom and material. The cause of that fire still under investigation. The discussions of hundreds of new homes has families so concerned they're already sounding the alarm about Fort Myers infrastructure issues. Developers want to build up to 800 apartments on the northeast corner of Daniels Parkway and Treeline Avenue. To get permits, the infrastructure needed to support the growth has to exist. But neighbors say right now it isn't there. Just last year, families dealt with ongoing water pressure problems in that area, and they're worried about that and more potential traffic issues as well.
What we have now is not adequate. Last year, about July, uh, the water pressure definitely went down. So you add another 800 units there, plus the growth that's going on Lehigh Acres and in Cape Coral. People are crossing across the county for jobs now and for services. That's going to impact us. One Fort Myers City Council member says the city is handling that water pressure issue. They say they're building 20 new wells. If you plan to vote in the upcoming election, you have until this weekend to request a mail-in ballot. Saturday's the deadline and early voting begins that same day. Wink News reporter Tiffany Rizzo explains why everyone should double check their poll location. Three people are dead, four homes were destroyed, and more than three dozen others were damaged after a massive explosion in Evansville, Indiana. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is trying to figure out what caused that deadly explosion. And now we want to show you a bird's eye view of that damage. You can see from afar, it looks devastating. All those homes affected, all of those lives turned upside down. Dozens of homes suffered extensive damage, as you can see in these aerial shots. Some of them were so so unstable, search and rescue efforts had to be called off overnight. The structures aren't safe to enter, so there may be somebody still in there. We have eight different agencies on scene, including alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. The cause is still under investigation. The local gas utility says it's working closely with investigators at this time as they look into the exact cause of that blast. Helping the employees who are out of a job after this fire ripped through Island Cow on Sanibel. The restaurant set up a fundraiser and 100% of those donations will go to their employees. The owners plan to match every donation dollar for dollar up to 10,000 bucks. And if you want to help, we do have a link for you for that site on our Wick News app. Back to school means school zones are in effect. Coming up, what the slow, what the slowdown speeds are and how to know when you're driving through a school zone. Plus, these steamy temperatures can increase the risk of a common problem, kidney stones. We'll tell you how, can, how you can prevent them. That's coming up after the break. Today on Wing News at 3, he had a shovel in his hand, not a weapon, only spoke Spanish, didn't understand the commands. The police shot him dead. The family is suing and speaking out. Today at 3, Wink News. First, fair, everywhere. As you head out on the road today, be extra careful about your speed. That's because those school zones are now back in place and the fines can be steep. One school zone is right outside Gateway High School. That's along Griffin Drive and State Road 82. And that's where we find Wink News reporter Asha Patel, who has a deeper look into this problem. Speaking about the heat, man, the heat is on this afternoon, likely tying record high temperatures for us here in Fort Myers. Forecast high of 95. That is the current record high set back in 2016 and three above that average of 92, where we typically should be this time of year. Punta Gorda and Naples, you both are in the clear, but still fairly warm. 95 and 93, respectively. 98 and 96 are the records for this day and time. Now, it's all thanks to the Sahara dust that's going to limit our opportunities for rain and thunderstorms this afternoon. But speaking about rain, Wake Doppler Live 3X radar picking up on one little batch of some very light rain shower activity that's just worked its way through downtown Lake Placid, moving to the north and west at roughly about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But besides that, we are currently dry under a partly cloudy, a hazy, and a hornet filled sky. This guy always loves his 15 minutes of fame right there. Come on, bug off. Let me show you what I want to show you. Partly cloudy skies, and you can see that haze draped across downtown Fort Myers. All right, I've had enough of the killer bee hornet uh, that's on top of our tower camp. But hey, you want to know what's also happening later tonight? We're talking about the Perseid meteor shower. It peaks late tonight and will continue into both Friday and it's a Saturday night. Best viewing time will be around midnight through the sunrise hour. Hour. And typically, the Perseid meteor shower, one of the more electrified or more viewed uh, showers throughout the year, but we're only likely going to be dealing with about 20 to 50 per hour. And that's because it's got a very powerful opponent tonight, and that is the final supermoon of the season, which peaks at 9.35 tonight. It's bigger and brighter than normal and often referred to as the sturgeon moon. Fun fact, because Fishermen in the Great Lakes region typically catch more sturgeon this time of year, as well as out 
in the Pacific Northwest. So there are some fun Sturgeon 101 facts for you right there. And that's where you want to keep them because as of now, the National Hurricane Center has zero chances of expected tropical development within the next five days. Let's keep that sleeping giant uh, sleepy for the next couple of months. 95 today, 95 tomorrow. Hazy conditions over the next 48 hours. The haze exits Saturday, Sunday. Better opportunities for scattered storms return to the area, but that also lowers our afternoon high temperatures back down into the lower 90s. And also wanted to note those mild and muggy morning lows remaining steady in the mid to upper 70s. Greg, thanks so much. As parts of the U.S. deal with widespread droughts, Europe is also facing a historic dry spell. Some areas experiencing conditions not seen since perhaps the Middle Ages. As Wink News reporter Ian Lee reports, this comes as the continent braces for another round of heat waves. Coming up on Wink News, a local pool sends out a plea for help, and what woman steps up? We meet the lady who's diving into a life-saving career after 50 years on dry land. Wink Weather is sponsored by Mr. Sparky, committed to safety. We are open and here for your electrical needs. It's a season for legends. Saturday on CW, the box host the Dolphins. From first downs to touchdowns, your season starts here. Box Dolphins. Coverage starts Saturday at 7.30 on CW. Box Dolphins. Coverage starts Saturday at 7.30 on CW. Danish toy maker Lego went all out to celebrate its 90th birthday with a cake made from more than 94,000 Legos. It's got nine layers, one for each decade. Workers crafted the spinning plastic creation on their own. The family-owned company was founded back in 1932, and its core product, the Lego brick, was first produced in its current form back in 1958. A plea for help at a YMCA after the small pool closed because of a staffing shortage. The person who answered the call? Grandmother Maggie Sullivan. She was a lifeguard decades ago until she left the business to become a teacher and let her lifeguard certification expire. The Y got her recertified and presto, a 70-year-old former teacher now working as a lifeguard and swim instructor. It was a great job. I did it until... I graduated from college. Things have changed, but it was pretty easy to study up and get back on board with it. Thank you for joining us here on Wink News at noon. Of course, Wink News is back for Wink News Live at 3. We'll see you then. Wink Doppler 3X. We built it. We launched it. But what does it mean for you? Matt, sounds kind of complicated and technical. Uh, Lois, just think of three features. Wink's Live Doppler 3X updates its information faster, which means you are more informed sooner than anyone, and it's able to see farther, higher, and lower to really pinpoint weather more accurately. We talk about one million watts of power. Why does that matter? To power the average home, it takes about 5,000 watts of power. Wink's Live Doppler 3X has the power to see storms as far as Cuba, and that precision can even detect flying debris as small as a nail during tornadoes. So the bottom line is viewer safety. And that's right, Lois. You can think of Wink's Live Doppler 3X as your first line of defense, keeping you safe and able to plan ahead when every minute matters. Wink Doppler 3X, three times more powerful.